Hey YouTube, and it's Tychondrius here again doing another action figure review. Now this is for something I picked up during um, Big Bad Toy Store sale. And this is one of the last of the Mattel Masters of the Universe figures as far as I remember. Uh, the line did continue with Super 7. Well I believe this is one of the figures that came out via Mattel directly. Well, through their uh, direct mailing service. And this is the incredibly large and massive Tuscador. Now, um, I'll just bring the box up quickly. So he comes in this fairly massive, standard Masters of the Universe classic style box. Just bring up my camera. And just pan down. You see it says Galactic, Galactic Protectors on it. So he's actually part of the Guardians, the Galactic Guardians, so the hero figures. And if I flip around the back of the box, it shows the other ones in the line, so Darius, Hydron, She-Ra, the Galactic uh, Protector version of She-Ra, which never actually was in the cartoon. I think there might have been prototype drawings done for her. I don't think she was, I know she was never in the actual cartoon, but there might have been some additional sample drawings that might have been done as a concept, if they were going to include her. And then you have Galactic Protector He-Man, and then you have one of the mutants, which is Slushhead. Which is one of my favourite ones actually. He's actually, I think I remember him being one of the first of the Space Mutants that they did. So I think it went Optic, Slush Head and Flog. And I think the last one they done was Quake. But I think he was part of Super 7's um, lineup. But anyway, getting off track. You have a image of the figure in the back. Uh, it has interchangeable tusks. And unlike previous Masters of the Universe... Uh, classics figures uh, he has no bio card um, a lot of the older ones had bio cards on the back of the boxes but they started to omit them later on as the line was uh, getting on and I think they just didn't want to uh, print up as much stuff on the back of the boxes and they just decided to omit them so here he is in all his amazing glory uh, he is a bit hindered in his articulation, I'll go into that in a minute when I get around to it. But before I do that, I'm going to bring up out the tape measure. You can see how tall this guy is. He is by far one of the tallest of the average kind of human scaled figures. There is taller figures in the lines of the giants that they released, which was, um, was it Titus, I think. I can't remember the names of the uh, two giants. There was actually three, well, I think. But, uh, they were based on the classics, or sorry, the vintage line, whereas this is New Adventures. So, this guy stands just roughly a little under 8 inches tall. So, he's quite tall because the standard figure size is around 7. So, he is quite a tall one. Uh, he does sport a removable helmet, which is quite nice. You get to see the amazing head sculpt. If I can, actually, I'm going to pop his tusks off. They are removable. So I can bring him up closer to the camera without knocking it over. So he has an amazing head sculpt. He has like a padded hooded kind of uh, head gear on underneath the helmet. Kind of just to help him uh, wear the helmet better. And the helmet is just clipped in by via two pegs on either side. And you just pop it into place and it holds into place. Now he does have removable tusks, as you saw he had really big tusks on, but if I flip him back around he has two alternate smaller ones which can peg in here at the back. These kind of look like thrusters on his back as part of all the kind of electronic or the engineering uh, kibble on the back of him. But he can swap out those large ones for these and they just peg in. This is sort of a rubbery plastic so you, you kind of push, can push it in. He has far more manageable tusks. Now the larger tusks are more akin to what he would have had initially. And his gimmick was that when you press a button on his back, he would swing the tusks and do a kind of grabbing motion, which you can simulate, but there is no actual action features in these classics figures. I think there was only one, two, sorry, two, three figures in total that had an action feature. Uh, one being Buzzsaw Skeletor, or Buzzsaw Hordak. It was an action feature like the old one, but he had the opening chest feature that he had the Buzzsaw piece in. 
And the other two that I know of offhand are Laser Light Skeletor and Laser Power He-Man because uh, they have LEDs in them, similar to their original counterparts. But most of the rest of them don't have the action figure gimmick, or sorry, the action feature gimmick. So he also comes with a pistol, a laser pistol, which is removable, and he can store it on this little loop on his belt, which is quite nice. Now, he does reuse a few other existing Masters of the Universe parts. So his entire torso, bar the armor parts and bar these big chunky armor parts on the shoulders are a reuse if I can just bring him in without this guy crashing to the ground is a reuse of this guy so this is Ram Man as you can see he has the same big chunky arms he's actually smaller than uh, Tuscador Tuscador is actually still larger because they gave him newer legs than these legs Ram Man even though he's really big and bulky does stand around the same height as a standard uh, classics figure but for the purpose of this review they basically took the entire upper torso of Ran Man bar the head and this chunky armor part they replaced it with the other chunky armor part and gave him the new head sculpt and then made these kind of more in uh, how would you say it? more kind of cyber I wouldn't say cybernetic but more kind of futuristic kind of uh, armored legs and they increased his height as well with it, so they kind of gave him kind of a little bit taller legs than standard, so they were more in scale to the body. So he is a fairly big chunky figure. So articulation, articulation wise, he has swivel on the shoulders. He does use the standard joints that Raman does, so his arms should be able to go out to the side and down, but because of this big bulky piece even though it's a rubber piece it really hinders the movement and you can't hinge the arms out he does still retain the bicep swivel single jointed elbow he has swivel in the wrist one fist has a peg hole in it the other one is completely closed so he does doesn't uh, he isn't able to hold his weapon in both hands as previously mentioned he has the removable helmet and his head is on a ball joint on that and it's a really good ball joint but when the helmet is on it does restrict a lot of that movement so if you wanted to pose the head you'd probably be best to pose it when the helmet is off and then kind of plop it back on and then have him pose that way he has a swivel in the waist upper and upper diaphragm and kind of he doesn't go back too much because a lot of the back kibble kind of gets in the way but you can hinge down quite a bit so you could do them in a really good charging pose especially with the longer tusks um, he does have a um, ball joints in the hips to go out that much he has upper swivel as well he has single jointed knees he has a boot cut swivel he has a slight hinge in the ankle now one of his ankles has an ankle tilt but the other one doesn't seem to have any tilt to it for some reason maybe it's just to get an extra bit of stability on him so that if both ankles were really loose that he w doesn't go crashing over but he stands quite well and he is quite a big hefty chunky figure he doesn't feel kind of flimsy or plasticky that much so and if you wanted to just for the sake of it you can give him Ram Man's battle axe but he doesn't really need it because he has two gigantic tusks on his head or on the front of his armour but overall, he's a really cool figure. Um, I think he's still currently available via Big Bad Toy Store. I'm not sure. He's definitely available through third-party sellers on eBay, but he might be marked up higher than the Big Bad Toy Store price point. So if you do want him, do recommend checking him out there. Well, at the time of this recording, he's available. If you're watching this three or four months down the line, he may still be available. He may not. So uh, it's up to you to check it out. Um, but overall he's a cool figure, the head sculpt on him is really good uh, unlike the Ram Man figure he only has the one head sculpt he didn't come with the kind of uh, unmasked head sculpt but you don't really need it because the helmet is removable but overall fantastic figure I do recommend picking him up and as I say in my videos uh, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and I hope I didn't waffle on too much this time around cheers guys